It's Christmas time! Well, almost. It's time for Advent calendars, at least, and I've got a rather special German Advent calendar to show this year, which could be interesting. It requires a 386DX33, uh, 4 megabytes of RAM, 640 by 480 SVGA screen, and Windows 3.1. Ah, look at this. Reclams Electronic Ischke 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 Advent Calendar. Okay. Let's see what's on here then. All right, so we're in Windows 3.11. We've got the garish hot doggedness, which let's be honest, is pretty essential for any. Oh, we haven't got a CD-ROM driver installed. Okay, folks, the first part of this little escapade is to reinstate the CD-ROM driver. That's quite festive, isn't it? I had to uh, get rid of the CD driver because I needed to free up some conventional memory for a game. It needed like 620 kilobytes or something. Something outrageous. So let's put those back in. And that should do it. That should do it. Let's reset this compact computer. Let's just check it's installed. Let's go. There are problems with this installation of Windows 3.11. I may have put some viruses about here and there on my Twitch streams, and this may affect our operation of the advent calendar, but we can only do our best. Setup 16. They've given us a 32-bit version and a 16-bit version, which is very nice of them. Obviously, it's in German, so... And when we get an error message, I have no idea what it says. No idea. Hmm. M386 has detected error 06 in an application at memory address 00B80BA9. To minimize the chance of data loss, M386 has halted your computer. Doesn't that exude festive cheer? God, God. Should have planned this better. So now this is turning into a bit of a troubleshooting session in German. I guess we could uh I guess we could turn M386 off. And let's just yeah, yeah, let's just see. Just, let's get rid of extended or expanded memory for a minute. I'm not gonna let M386 steal, snatch Christmas away from us that easily. Of course, you'll know it has happened if at this exact moment, this stream, this video suddenly switches to an emulator and I disappear. Otherwise, we're still here. So that's good. So, stay strong. Maybe let's have a... Let's cut to a quick break. Bloody damn it! I'm in the Magnaram setup configuration. Let's disable Magnaram because I don't, I don't really trust Magnaram, to be honest. Let's try it again. Let's, let's do it again. Without Magnaram memory compression running in the background. Oh, I do like to be beside... Oh, it's crashing again. It's crashing again. I do like to be beside the seaside. I do like to be beside the sea. I do like to be beside the sea. The sea. I'm not vibing. I'm not vibing with that Magnaram whatsoever. I need you to. I need you to leave. 
and never come back. Just leave this place. I just, I don't. I'm not interested in you being here. You be, look at look at this, look at this version of Windows. Look at the control panel. Everything is gone. This 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 version of Windows is absolutely balked. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to reinstall Windows 3.11. Yeah. Imagine. Imagine, if you will, a child's advent calendar starting like this. We've had to install Windows 3.11 across all these disks. This is all the disks you need for Windows 3.11. We've got, what, six, eight, eight floppy disks here. Imagine. Imagine it. It's buggered, isn't it? It's, it's buggered. We need to reinstall it. We need to start afresh. And then we can really make something of our lives. So I need to rename <laughs> all this to do Advent. Rename Win to Win Below. Joy to the world. Our savior is born in the form of Bill Gates, who has brought us Windows for Workgroups 3. I just want to install the Advent calendar. Man, delightful, yeah, Super VGA would be delightful for me. Mouse, Logitech, me yeah, absolutely splendid. We might have, might have a break now in this video because you don't want to see Windows 3.1 installing entirely, do you? You probably do. You, you probably, I know I would, and if you're watching my channel, you probably would as well. You're, you're that kind of sick individual who is happy to sit down and, in, and enjoy Enjoy watching Windows for Workgroups 3.11 install. And by the way, these are the original discs that I got with my PC. My original PC in 1995, my Advent 4250 from PC World. These are the discs I got with it. And it's hilarious because if you if you look at the discs, right, these are the original discs. But they've, they've had something else on them. Look, underneath, there's a label See that? So they, they, they've used discs like, which have been used to put windows on. What was that about? Jingle bells, jingle bells, children singing jingle bells. That's not the right song. That's Cliff Richard, isn't it? It's mistletoe and wine. I've laid jingle bells over the top like some sort of monster. Not as much of a monster as Cliff Richard is, though. Welcome to Wind... How long has this video been going on for? So I've recorded 21 minutes so far of what I was hoping would be a two-minute video, just so we could sort the first day of Advent out. Obviously, this isn't going to go live on the first day of Advent now, because it's quarter to midnight. And I'm installing Windows, and um, that seems unlikely. Oh, I haven't switched my dinosaurs on. Let's get them on. Whoo! Whoo! Oh, look at that! Lovely. Oh, look back to back to how it used to be. Glorious, glorious. Almost working nicely. Um, we don't have any sound drivers though, which is a, oh god, this, I just, day one of Advent. What are we doing here? What are we doing, folks? Good news, folks. The sound drivers are installed. So hopefully, hopefully we can get back. We can we can try and install the advent calendar again. If it doesn't work after all this, then I am going home. Quite honestly. Oh, I made it past forty-four percent. This is good news. This is good. I'm, I'm, I am, I am thrilled. Oh, I used to love those little gauges to measure your hard drive space, how much is left to install. Oh, beautiful. We don't get stuff like that now, do we? It's always oh, you know, just download it from the internet. Job done. There's no problem. Getting a disc. It's really easy, folks. I think we may be in Advent Calendar Heaven. 
we may be able to conclude or begin day one of Advent. <laughs> There's a massive, massive bee. Or what? Are you? There's a massive bee in here. You are a huge. Are you a hornet. Jesus Christ. Christ. Fix one problem. I get a whole new problem. Bloody hell, mate. Look at the size of you. <sighs> Poor bastard. It's because I've turned the heating on in here and now it's, he's obviously been knocking around in here for a while. And he's like, oh, it's summer. I'm waking up. <sighs> what to do with a rogue huge wasp? I'll sort him out after we've done the advent calendar. He, maybe he's really excited that we managed to do it as well. That's why he's out. Right, let's crack on. Let, let's crack on. Here we go. That's our... F f what? F okay. 1980. Thursday, January the 3rd, 1980. Okay. So what do we do? Look at this guy, he looks creepy as hell. Okay, the, mu the music is finished. Oh, look, we... We can scroll around very, very slowly. Oh my god, this is slow. Let's go to the computer and see what we can do over there. Come on. Come on. Right, let's click on the computer. That's number 12. So we need to search for day one. 7, 15. <laughs> it moves mind-numbingly slow. Oh my word! <laughs> it's going to take us all night to find number one. 18. Who puts candles on a Christmas tree? I mean, would this, imagine that, the sap in a tree? That is asking for multiple fires. I mean, just one fire would be bad enough. Look at that soldier! What's going on with his mouth? Oh, it's number one! Click. Click. What do I do? I guess that's the credits. Okay. I, I, I'll be honest, I just want to open door number one. All right, okay. Yeah. All right, yeah, okay. Yep. Day number one. Do we get a story? Do we get a story for each day? We get a German story for each day, I presume. Okay, we'll end that. I, st I still don't understand how we opened the first day because I tried to click on that bloke's face and he was having none of it. He was like, nah, mate, I'm, I'm, I'm busy, to be honest. But I can't... <laughs> oh, God. We've got an advent calendar that, that, that doesn't work. It looks like this is where Advent is going to start and end for us, folks. Let, let's change the system date and see if we can sort this out. Maybe. Okay, thank you very much. Yeah. Maybe it's tied to the system date. 
Uh, that, that was the warning it gave me to start with. It was like, well, mate, it's, it's, it's March 1980. What are you playing at with your life? This isn't, this isn't the time for Advent. 12, 1, 21. Okay. This is where we open up door number one. There he is. There. There he is. Op open up, mate. Open. Come on. Let's not be silly now. Let's not be silly about this. A am I missing something very basic here? Is there something blindingly obvious that I'm missing? Give me some instructions. It's all in German. Why did I get a German advent calendar? One. Open. Something. Some time later. So I've been here a while. I've been here a while. And I've clicked on everything on this page. I've pressed every key. I've pressed every... Every pixel on this little bastard. And nothing happens. Nothing. Nothing. You can't get anything to... I've changed the dates. I've changed it back to 1997. Change it to British date formats. Nothing. Nothing makes any difference. Wherever I click, nothing. And this looks like it's been made with macro media or something, something terrible like that. And I know that these programs did sometimes have issues like this. I mean, Oh, 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 all I want to do is day one of an advent calendar. I've been here for hours. Christmas is ruined this year because of this. This could very well be the end of Advent. Or it could be the start of something glorious. 